Oh, look at these. Mizuno. What's that? Oh, a TP <laughs> mill. Guys, welcome back. Today, Ashley and I are going thrifting for golf clubs and anything else cool that we can find. Also, we're gonna test out the clubs at a new course today, so should be fun. We'll meet you at thrift store number one. There's a train. And some golf clubs. Not often you see a train go by when you're looking at the golf clubs in the thrift store. This is that place where we found the square strike, one of our most popular videos ever. And we always find good stuff here. So let's see if we find anything today. Lady Hogan. Lady Hogan. That's pretty cool. That might be one of their uh, first steel clubs that they ever made. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Got the uh, old school Cleveland Vast still here and they got the uh, driver to go with it. Old school Lady Cobra, 12 degrees of loft. Got this Michigan State Den Caddy. This is pretty cool. We both went to IU, but pretty much every single one of my dad's friends is a Michigan State yeah. fan. So it'd be hard to get that and choose which one of uh, which one of them to give it to because a couple of them watch the channel. So we can't pick favorites here, but let's see what else we got. Some uh, Nick and Gen X, Three Woods left-handed, Ping Zing knockoff. You see anything? This might be the first time that we haven't found anything, any good golf clubs in here. Yeah. Got this uh, driving iron. They've had this in here for a while. Actually, it looks pretty good. Kind of looks like a Mizuno Fly High graphite shaft. No, nope. they usually have some good head covers in here too. Still got the RBZ, R5 Dual, R7 TP, one of my favorite drivers. Oh, it's a win for me though. Oh, Nike Mojo. <laughs> Ashley's favorite golf balls. Those are getting hard to find. Yep. Got an all leather uh, Callaway Big Bertha bag up there. Well, you got to see a train. All right, nothing too crazy at that first thrift shop, although that Michigan State bag was pretty cool. But well, we've got quite a few other thrift shops to hit up today, so we'll meet you at the next one. All right, let's see what we got back in here. We got a couple of bags. There's some junior clubs back here, X-Gen Juniors. Got a set of uh, Northwestern irons, a T-line putter. Got some uh, Nike uh, Sasquatch. Uh, that's like one of the worst knockoffs I've ever seen. The paint is coming off. Yeah, that's what I was just yeah. thinking. I was like, that's a really bad Nike. And the, nope, not Nike. <laughs> yeah, for sure. What else do we got? We got a chipper. Oh, this feels weird. A rip stop 60 degree lob wedge. Oh, look at the face on that. Kind of looks like uh, the spin doctors. I bet you that spins a ton. We'll get that. I think the clubs in here are a dollar. What'd you get? We emerged from that dark, creepy room and you found these? Yeah, a pair of Keens. John says they float. Yeah, I think these float. Like all the fishing channels that we watch, they uh, use these and I think they float. They like put them on their kayaks. Yeah, definitely yeah. good for kayaks. We'll test it in the tub before we uh, throw it in a pond, but I'm pretty I'll sure those things. in a pond. No. Well, it won't make you float. Those float. <laughs> Not really the kind of golf clubs that we were looking for, but got a cool clock over here, $4. Oh, that is really cool. And it's got the numbers on there. I always need the numbers. <laughs> now this would make for a very interesting challenge if they were real. Yeah, let's see if they come out. Oh, they do. We have that little Arnold Palmer thing, you remember? Yeah. The little game? Uh-huh. I don't know. This is $1.50. $1.50. That is pretty cool. Yeah, right, we can get that. <laughs> This is the perfect combination of Florida. It just rained, but it didn't rain long enough for it to cool it down. So you're just yeah. basically in a uh, sauna. Yeah, and it's still kind of misting and sunny. Yeah, I I, Florida, <laughs> weather. <laughs> All right, those snowboards have been here for like, what, over a year? Yeah. Not a hot seller here in Florida. What else do we got? Uh, these are like a ping eye like almost like ping eye three knockoffs dunlop oh a hogan edge handmade to fit you kansas city oh. Oh. i got you just threw that one down there <laughs> that's pretty cool i've never seen that before no. let us know if you guys have ever seen the kenneth smith handmade to fit you kansas city anita May mayor maybe oh maybe that's the yeah. person's name that's pretty cool though. yeah that, that is pretty cool fancy and official yeah anita mayor old school ladies club i guess yeah it's super short for a five iron huh that's pretty cool yeah it is really cool you want to try that i know now yeah make anita proud <laughs> yeah <laughs> my dad's birthday is coming up and this thrift store has some uh greeting cards yeah I spotted birthday card there. wishing you a birthday dad that's above par a perfect day filled with everyone you love and everything you'd enjoy Also, your dad's probably watching, so happy early birthday. Yep, happy birthday, uh, Stacked Golf Senior. <laughs> Looks like they got a bunch of full iron sets in here today. Got a AccuPath, 
kind of looks like it. Yeah, it's a uh, two ball knockoff. Let's see if there's any good irons. Got a full set of the TaylorMade original ones, the Pittsburgh Persimmon. These are the ladies woods with the uh, blue furl right there. Wilson and Vantage. Got an old McGregor five wood. Got a McGregor gap wedge right here. Guys, comment below if you miss McGregor. Actually, we should probably do a video of like the top five brands that I wish were still in business. McGregor would definitely be on there. Speaking of it. <laughs> McGregor Battle Sticks. That's cool. That's a cool name. Yeah. Sunshine and rain once again. All right, looks like they got a bunch of new clubs in today. We got a Ping I2 7 wood and a Ping I2 5 wood. We've got a long putter over here. You ever use one of these? No, that's crazy. A little broom sweeper action. Oh, that's a full set. What are those? King Cobras, yeah. yeah, King Cobra oversized, absolute classic. We've hit those a few times. Got a Cleveland, uh, I think this is a Cleveland 588. Yeah, Cleveland 588 head cover. If they had the hybrid that goes with it, that would be pretty good. Oh, look at these. Mizuno MP30 four iron. I can make, I actually need one of these. I was thinking about playing the uh, Mizuno MP33s, but I can't hit the long iron. So a four iron would definitely help with yeah. that. How much is that? $1.99 for a Mizuno MP30 <laughs> at Goodwill. We got a uh, Wilson CI6. I have the Wilson PI5 irons. Those are really good too. What else do we got? Oh, here's the three iron for the Mizuno MP30. Nice. What's that? Oh, a TP Mills. <laughs> it's just hidden. Dang. I really saw it and I was yeah, like, Yeah, TPM2. <laughs> oh, this is one of my favorite models of the TP Mills. Nice. Wow, this is a, uh, yeah, yeah. Mizuno, TP Mills, got a big old long putter. This is a very productive uh, Goodwill, as Ashley was saying. All right, guys, made it out to the course. We're gonna do a little bit of a challenge right here. Ashley's actually challenged me because her neck hurts, so she's not playing today, but although she might hit some putts, but yeah, the challenge is we're at a brand new course. I have to shoot even par or better from the white tees through four holes. Yep. And if I win, I get to get a pumpkin spice latte from Dunkin' Donuts, which Ashley hates. Oh, I Not only do I get smell. to get it though, you have to take a sip if oh. I win. Man, I've never hoped you like lose before. <laughs> yeah, but if I lose, then I still get a pumpkin spice latte. But first hole right here, 289 yards, going with the Mizuno MP30 three iron. All right, that shot ended up pretty good. Kind of an unintentional little fade stinger right there, but we'll take it. It's in the middle of the fairway. We got 122 yards left. I'm going with the Kenneth Smith five iron. Not really sure how this is gonna go, but uh, should be uh, interesting. We're gonna try and like bump it into that hill right in front of the green. What do you think? You think this is the club? That's Although funny. I'm against you today. We're not on the same team. I know. I, I don't like rooting for you to lose. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to get through this together. <laughs> Just rolled over the green right here, but this next hole already has me worried. There's like bunkers everywhere. How far does that say? Oh, it's only 100, it's only, what does that say? 170 yards, yeah. so maybe that five iron will be the ticket. But we got a tricky little up and down. I'm gonna go with the uh, the zip groove or whatever this thing's called. Rip stop, zip groove, something else. That's Cleveland, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, let's see if we can't get it up and down though. That looks right at, ah. I kind of chunked that, yeah. got lucky. <laughs> Even par three, one second hole is 170 yard par three. Hopefully I can get this uh, little five iron thing. It felt really good on the last one, the little uh, punch shot, but not sure if it's uh, cut out for this big hole, or at least I'm cut out to hit it anywhere on the green around there. Those bunkers don't look fun, but we do have the rip stop wedge just in case. Yep. Definitely got lucky there. I didn't hit it very good, but we managed to stay on the green. Just carried this bunker over here, which would have been pretty treacherous, but we got about, what did you say? It's probably about 45, 50 feet. Yeah, but you got a TP milk, you're good. Yeah, that's true. If I had you putting, we would be good. <laughs> yes. That is looking really good. Right. That's not bad, about three feet left. Yeah. More like four or five. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the price tag is helping? The price tag is definitely uh, adding a little counterbalance to it, maybe. <laughs> TPM2, one of my favorites. Did yep. I already mention that? Yeah. I have no idea where the third hole is. Is it not behind us? Wait, where is it going? That's the driving range. Huh. So oh, I think it's over there. Yeah. We will find out. All right, we found it. Hole number three is a par five, 469 yards. Looks like if we put it just to the right of the bunker right there, we should have, I'll oh, we'll go three iron and then four iron and then hopefully have the rip stop wedge. But uh, Ashley, it's not looking good for you. No. Those are probably the two hardest holes we're gonna play, so. 
well, I'm not gonna hit it in the bunker so they don't look intimidating at all. <laughs> I'm glad that I missed hit that because I almost jinxed myself and hit it in the bunker, but luckily we are short of it. Got about a three iron. I'm gonna go with the three iron and then hopefully we'll have a wedge left into it, but the hole is right along the tree line right there. So let's see what we can do. Going through the tree. Not gonna lie, I was kind of rooting for that to smack off the tree, but he just ended up right in the rough line. It's actually not that bad of a line. Yeah, it should be a full uh, what is it? rip stop. I keep even forgetting what it's called, but yeah. <laughs> hopefully I carry it there. It's gonna run right off the uh, front of the green if it does spin too much, but luckily we're in the rough. I got really lucky on that shot. <laughs> yes, you did. Wow. I thought that I had a chance for a second. We were right back there. Let's see if we can't find the ball mark. Oh yeah, that would have rolled right in if it didn't spin back. Yeah, my normal wedge, it would have jumped forward. We might have had, it would have been a lot closer, yes. but <laughs> rolled back off the green. So that's still, it's still makeable. You're, you better get ready for the uh, pumpkin spice here. <laughs> oh, I bombed out of there. Definitely did not deserve a birdie after all of that. <laughs> Got a butterfly over here. Par four, hole number four, 397 yards. I might have spoken too soon that the uh, second hole was the hardest one, but we're going to three iron. But check this out really quick. The uh, wedge on that last hole, I don't know if you can see that, it completely ripped up that ball. It is an illegal wedge and it does, it's like supposed to spin that much, but it's kind of crazy. All right, this is definitely harder than the second hole. We got over 200 yards left. Pin is off to the left over there, and it looks like there's out of bounds in some houses. This is uh, not the shot that I want to have left. No. Although I have been hitting a three iron pretty decently. We got lucky though that it didn't roll out into the bunker. It's pretty wet out here, but let's see what we can do. Yeah, you're still like. Yeah, we're still par. even par, so I just have to make a par here, but that's kind of gonna be difficult. Let's see what we can do though. <laughs> I don't think he ended up too bad. Yeah, I hit that one way off the toe and we got lucky, although this is a pretty tricky little chip shot. We gotta like oh, carry yeah. it over this ridge. Let me show you. Yeah, we have to carry it over that ridge and then, yeah, that's basically what we have to do. Well, it's a good thing you have illegal grooves though. Yeah, illegal clubs. This still counts with our challenge, right? You knew with the clubs, you knew the, you I knew knew. the rules. I knew the rules like going in. Staring directly into the sun, giving you a wink. <laughs> Yeah. All right, downhill, left or right or not John's favorite putt. One way or another, I get the, uh, yeah, that was the rule. One way or another, I get it, right? Yes. It's just if I'm tortured by it. <laughs> Thank you for not Duncan. What can I get for you? Do you have the uh, pumpkin spice latte? We do. We have either just the regular one with the pumpkin or we have the signature pumpkin latte, which is actually French vanilla shot, pumpkin, the whipped cream, the drizzle, and the shaker on top. Uh, can I do that frozen? I can do ice. We don't do it frozen. I can do a pumpkin frozen coffee. Uh, I'll just do the signature one, ice you please. Know, okay, what size would you like on? Uh, large. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video more than Ashley's about to enjoy that. You can tell that we don't really drink coffee and we just yeah. do this like once a year as a joke. If you remember last year, we, we did this. We don't do this. John does. <laughs> yeah, I don't like these things either. So it's just kind of funny. It's actually not as bad as I remember it. Let me see. Yeah, I don't even know what that's supposed to taste like. It just tastes like cinnamon. But hopefully you guys like this video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys.